Until siku moja tukapigwa na miti za jembe na kanjo dhika. Kutoka hiyo siku mimi nikaamua stairi <laughs> dikuhoka. Mm. There is another friend of mine aitwa Gacha Karie there anajua hii story juu. Was among us stars and tulikuwa tunafanya hiyo job. Tumeuza tops huko hivyo Adam Zakid toy market. My yeah. big brother Dela, si mnamjua Dela Gata. Yeah, yeah. Hata saizi ya kona shops huko Adam Zakid. Mm. Alikuwa ananipea job hadi nikiwa pale hivyo high school na kuja mimi na chapa hustle na pata kapoke na rudi shule. So mwanzi hawa si wakusema rich kid na yeah, cool yeah. kid mwanzi. Yeah. Waache hiyo tabia. Umetoka far. Si tumetoka mbali. Yeah. Tuko na mse. Ndio story ya Dela Isama. Bro kuna time nilia Kawera huko hivyo Juja. After kuhasul kuhasul nilikuwa ni afford kuingia 1B. Najua kuwa student manze kuingia 1B na ndo unajilipia venye ni hasul. Alafu msee manze akaingia pale kwa alingia na ile mashini ya kuchoma mlango ile kwa ngo ile ya kuchoma welding eh. Akaangusha hiyo yeye hakungoa kufuli. Alichoma hiyo part ya kufuli kaanguka. <laughs> Unaona? Mimi nilikuwa ni manage kuweka PS by the time I was in before ningie nilikuwa naingia second year mm-hmm. nilikuwa nime manage kuweka hizo PS mm-hmm. nilikuwa nime manage kununua bikes kadhaa for hire mm-hmm. na, movie na movie shop yeah. by the time before ningie second year mm-hmm. lakini siku moja bro nilifika pale hivyo kwa job hata saa hizo duka ijai toleo jina Pluto pale hivyo job haijai haijai repaintiwa mm-hmm. mimi nilipata manzee wezi wamenyakuwa kila kitu sasa unataka one beauty na rudi single room ya 25 wow. Choni zenye bro ukiingia ukitoka unafanya hivi sweta. Hata mm. uwezi kulia kama ali safi uko. <laughs> Fagilia TV wanafagia news zote. Wanakuletea vitu moto moto. Subscribe to Fagilia TV. Joana nikiwa after nimeingia Jaycourt. Uh-huh. Actually nilikuwa 2 months old in Jaycourt na yeye alikuwa ameajiriwa mahali alikuwa anauza kaduka fulani. Uh-huh. Akafutwa kazi. <laughs> <laughs> na akaekelewa ameiba pesa. Hapo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Na alivukuzwa ilikuwa ni saa 10 asubuhi. <laughs> Akakuja wewe ni nilitoka. Oh, ni kuvukuzwa <laughs> kabisa. <laughs> Akakuja kwangu. Unaona? Hapo mm. ndo sasa tukaanzia kutunga. Hizi by the way maimbo mingi zetu tumefanya nao kijana. Mm. Has tujatunga saa hizi. Mm. Zilitungo 2017 2018 huko. Mm. Unaona? Mm. So saa hizi ni ile wakati mnapata chance yenyewe mnaweza zidu. So huu msi atujatoka saa hizi. Mm tumeuza viatu na by the way tumehook viatu yeah, dika yeah. town yeah. mimi nilikuwa naingia gekosh saa 9 asubuhi unaona by saa 11 mimi nishamaliza kukagua bell nisharudi kijani tumeosha hizo maviatu nini nini by saa mbili niko kwa class sawa yeah. kutoka hivi daro 3 pm tuko dhika tukihook tunauza hizo viatu until siku moja tukapigwa na miti za jembe na kanjo dhika kutoka hiyo siku mimi nikaamua stairi dikuhoka. <laughs> There is another friend of mine aitwa Gacha Karie there anajua hii story juu. Was among us stars and tulikuwa tunafanya hiyo job. Tumeuza tops huko hivyo Adam Zakid toy market. My yeah. big brother Dela, si mnamjua Dela Gata. Yeah, yeah. Hata saizi akona shops huko Adam Zakid. Mm. Alikuwa ananipea job hadi nikiwa pale hivyo high school na kuja mimi na chapa hustle na pata kapoke na rudi shule. So mwanzi hawa si wakusema rich kid na yeah, cool yeah. kid mwanzi. Yeah. Wacha hiyo tabia. Umetoka far. Si tumetoka mbali. Yeah. Tuko na huyu mse. Ndio story ndio isema. Bro kuna time nilia Kawera huko hivyo Juja. After kuhasul kuhasul nilikuwa ni afford kuingia 1B. Najua kuwa student manze kuingia 1B na ndo unajilipia venye ni hasul. Alafu mse manze akaingia pale kwa alingia na ile mashini ya kuchoma mlango ile kwa ngo ile ya kuchoma welding eh. Akaangusha hiyo yeye hakungoa kufuli. Alichoma hiyo part ya kufuli kaanguka. <laughs> Unaona? Mimi nilikuwa nime manage kuweka PS by the time I was before ningie, nilikuwa naingia second year. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa nime manage kuweka hizo PS, mm-hmm. nilikuwa nime manage kununua bikes kadhaa for hire mm-hmm. na, movie na movie shop. Yeah. By the time before ningie second year, mm-hmm. lakini siku moja bro nilifika pale hivyo kwa job. Hata saa hizo duka ijai toleo jina Pluto pale hivyo job. Haijai haijai repaintiwa. Mm-hmm. Mimi nilipata manzee wezi wamenyakuwa kila kitu. Sasa unataka one beauty na rudi single room ya 25. Wow. Choni zenye bro ukiingia ukitoka unafanya hivi sweta. Hata mm. uwezi kulia yeah. kama ali safi uko. Una mambo goli. Hapa tu juza. Yeah. So mwanzee mimi nasema ni hustle yeah. na Mungu na kuomba Mungu. No. Si rahisi. Yeah. Never no. give up. Wow, mm. no ma sana. Labda kwa sasa. Nimeguzia hapo msuri yako ya bibi back then. Bibi mm. mm. Kuna atamsha hivi kia ku give up kwa hii maisha. Is if you ever give up. Mwanze ni kumbuka mwenye amenilea apart from my parents that is my grandmother. 
Najua mimi nimelelewa kwa church before I converted to be a Muslim. Mimi nimekuwa ule mse chocho alikuwa ananisomea Bible. Mwanzo mimi najua Bible. Sisi hata ni kujigamba ama nini. Ni ile nilikuwa nasomea Bible sana. Unaona? Natafsiriwa sana Bible na my grandmother such that eh? nilikuwa tu najua at any given point says give up. The only kitu yenye Mungu alinifanya ng'a injustice ni kubeba my grandmother jua li, ali pass in was it in 2020? before manzi aweze ku, ku kukula the fruits of hard work unaona you say hizi mimi sema shoshu ange kuwa hai ni ile namwambia shoshu hakuna ku hustle sasa hizo shoshu alikuwa ananichukulia hadi long sometimes nilipe school fees yeah, yeah. siko una get yeah, scenario yeah. like tumetoka mbali manzi mimi si cool kid mimi si rich kid yeah. 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 Tunakuangalia iko sawa. Tunasema tuna try. Tunajaribu. Kwa hiyo ile kitu niliona mtu wa dunia hizi tosheka. To be honest, ile gari yenye nilikuwa nimenunua kwanza ni Sanjuku. Ukweli before God, hiyo ndio ilikuwa na dream car. Nilikuwa nimesema hiyo nikipata hata siwezi taka gari ingi. Lakini the moment umeipata una feel by the kuna kitu hii gari hainanga gari nyingine inakuanga nayo so what happens eh? unakuwa na um, more ambitions so unaanza ku dream bigger it is just because by then my dreams were a little bit smaller so you can get yeah. so like nasa sema uweze sema ati ukipata hii utatosheka basically see ni watu wa dunia and being a kikuyu man eh? Siezi ambia Mungu ati umenipea hii na hii na hii. Ile kitu naambia Mungu nahitaji zaidi. Binga kiuma na nashinanga na semanga again and again. You are not supposed to quantify what you have. Haufai kusema that uko na mbuzi 100. Unafaa useme uko na mbuzi zaidi ya 20 ama zaidi ya 50, but you shouldn't say what you have. Why? Because unafanya ikae ni kama umetosheka na chenye Mungu amekupatia. Unafaa useme unahitaji zaidi. Una get. So si sema penye nimefika nimetosheka. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu nahitaji zaidi. That's the point. Naam. No. Mm. Uh, tukimalizia sababu ya muda na wasaa, uh, mm. couples ningependa waweze kukuongelesha. Mm. Unajua watu wengine wanaachananga wakiwa wameenda lakini hao mm. walirudiana. Mm. Labda um, kitu moja kwa Pluto. Mm. Um, okay. First of all, naitwa Davis the storyteller. Mm. Wenyewe nijui. She is my girlfriend, mm. Miss Komi. Yeah. Um, I think through Pluto it's when like to get kujulikana through wase wengi mm. and like we try to enhance our relationship siku kwa sana juu what happened kwa Pluto she really caught just a storm you know relationship has ups and downs yeah so that was just one of the downs and like we really hope us together will build each other to fiki place mbali sana penye mayuthi wengi wa fiki instead of wasting each other yeah yeah we really appreciate to Pluto uh-huh. juu ametu send at least a platform na get wow yeah Pluto habari ndio hiyo <laughs> eh yes, sisi tunapatia uh, blessings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Naam na imekuwa hivyo hivyo tunashukuru sana kila siku ya Wednesday hapa la Viva. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah.